So my name is Tim Bird. Uh, I'm a senior software engineer at Sony Network Entertainment, and uh, I actually represent Sony uh, in the Linux Foundation. Uh, I'm uh, involved with the CE work group, which is uh, one of the work groups of the Linux Foundation that focuses on uh, enhancing Linux for consumer electronics. Uh, in, in that organization, I am the chair of the architecture group. And one of the things uh, that we do uh, to help promote uh, Linux and help enhance it is uh, we put together uh, these conferences. Embedded Linux Conference is one of, the, one of our premier events throughout the year. It's a chance for uh, lots of developers to come together and talk about how they're using Linux, uh, particularly in embedded settings. And uh, for me, I'm, I'm, well, I'm also the program chair of Embedded Linux Conference. Uh, and so uh, every year it gets tougher and tougher to, to select the, the talks that uh, we're going to have. Uh, there's always a lot of interesting stuff going on. This year um, we've got a lot of great talks talking about uh, different kernel subsystems uh, that have been improved um, and uh, lots of tools, talks about different tools, different techniques for uh, doing development on Linux, for finding out about your memory utilization and for testing uh, different aspects of the, of the kernel. Uh, we also have talks from different uh, vendor, well, different organizations that are doing embedded Linux projects, uh, distributions, tool chains like Linaro is here. Uh, several talks from Linaro people. Uh, yesterday we had a great uh, Yocto Developer Day, and there'll be a couple other Yocto talks uh, sprinkled out throughout the sessions um, in the coming days. But it's a fun time. It's a fun time to hang out and uh, talk to other developers. Um, this is uh, one of the highlights of my years to, is to come and uh, see a lot of uh, familiar faces, also new faces, and, uh, and, and talk to people about what they're doing with Embedded Linux. Oh wow, well it's gotten bigger. Uh, this is our biggest year ever. Uh, and uh, you know, it started, originally it started as a, a series of workgroup meetings that we kind of opened up to the public and invited people to come, and it's just kind of gotten bigger and bigger. And uh, we have, we still have um, s some of those uh, elements of focus on specific topic areas where people come specifically to ELC and get together. Uh, there's a couple of closed meetings that were, were held with um, just small groups of people to focus on technical areas. Um, but uh, there's also just, um, a lot of hallway conversations as people exchange stories and uh, talk about solutions. Um, I was talking at breakfast with uh, with a developer who works for a fitness center, and, or they do software for fitness devices. Uh, just really interesting uh, some of the problems he had and and uh, how it's getting solved with embedded Linux. Well, the market's uh, doing great. Um, embedded Linux. Um, has kind of taken over. You know, we used to joke a lot. I, I've been around the Linux industry for years and years, and we used to joke a lot about world domination. So in, in the embedded space, Linux kind of is dominating. Uh, and we don't say that every, uh, anymore because it used to be a joke, and, and now it's not so funny. <laughs> so it's like, uh, uh, but anyway, so Linux is in great shape. Uh, there's a lot of uh, technology that goes into Linux um, all the time uh, having to do with embedded and uh, particularly, I'm really impressed with the work that, uh, that Lenaro has been doing on some of the ARM integration. That was kind of a problem in the last year. Uh, and uh, Jonathan Corbett just gave a, gave a talk where he talked about the, the contribution from some of the, uh, the chipset vendors has really increased. Um, and so that's really good. Uh, there's always more problems to solve. Uh, and so that's why we you know, keep having these events. Uh, but in general, uh, Linux is doing really well. And of course, you, you can't um, talk about embedded Linux without talking a little bit about Android and what a great success uh, that's been for Google uh, to use the kernel and uh, in, in their mobile devices. And hundreds of millions of people now are walking around with Linux in their pocket. And uh, that's, that's pretty impressive. Uh, but Linux is showing up, you know, that's not the only success story. Uh, Linux is, uh, I work for Sony. Uh, and we have Linux in all of our digital cameras, all of our TV sets, and uh, it's just going out. And I, in fact, I don't know of any, any digital TV sets that are not using Linux. And so it's, it's pervasive throughout the industry. We really have kind of dominated. And uh, so it's important for, uh, for companies and, and individuals to work together to keep enhancing it and make it as good as possible for, 
or embedded. There's been a lot of discussion about compliance recently. Uh, I uh, put out a proposal out there uh, and uh, got discovered a couple weeks ago about, uh, about addressing some uh, compliance concerns. Um, and uh, I expect to uh, hear a lot of uh, input on that at this event, so that's a good thing. Um, companies, I think most companies, uh, especially the major companies, are all really conscientious about their compliance, uh, but there's always, um, there's always things that can be improved, and uh, there's always processes that we can, that we can adopt to uh, make things better. And uh, I look forward to, to working with other people. So one of the things that the Linux Foundation has got going on, which I think will really be helpful, is uh, their SPDX uh, initiative to uh, help um, with compliance issues through the supply chain. That was kind of one of the big issues that did come up during those discussions, is uh, how do large companies deal with their supply chain, make sure they have the sources and the correct licenses for everything they're shipping. So, uh, so there are actually good initiatives going forward to, to address those things.